Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. Um, today, I just wanted to get those creative juices flowing and I want to show you something that um, I recently did for my Growing Together Let's Play that you will see in the next episode of it. I want to make videos where I, oh my gosh, she got the love books quirk that is adorable. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> but I wanna make videos where I show you those creative ideas and things that I do in my gameplay that you see in my Let's Plays um, in little snippets like this. So recently for my Growing Together LP, we just had our toddlers age up. So they are now toddlers. And I just thought to myself instantly, like they have to go to daycare or like preschool. And it just so happens that in my Growing Together Let's Play, we are playing in San Sequoia. So I was hunting for all the good lots for San Sequoia. I found this lot called the San Sequoia Daycare by Honey May Sims. And I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is perfect. It's not too big. The colors, everything. Everything is just so, so, so perfect for the Growing Together Let's Play. And so I placed it on this lot in the Let's Play save file. So originally this lot venue type is generic. And so here's where I'm kind of sharing you my creative juices, okay? So that means anyone can come here, but I kept it a residential. This lot is the 18 Celebration Way lot in San Sequoia, and I kept it a residential because I ended up making my own daycare workers. I made some teachers and some toddlers for my Growing Together LP to become friends with and everything. But before I introduce you to those um, Sims, I'll give you like a little bit of a tour here. So this is the inside, look how colorful it is. Now in my Growing Together LP, it does look different, and I will go into that LP probably just to show you what it looks like. I changed up these beds, um, because I needed toddler beds, not infant beds. But it's basically made for infants, toddlers, and children because you have some toddler potties here. There's some bathrooms with the baby changing station. Look at this little play area with the high chairs. It's truly, truly diverse. Like you could play at children and like I said, you can have children of all ages here, but in the Growing Together Let's Play on my channel, I just made it so that it's kind of centered around toddlers, if anything. And when the girls grow older and their friends grow older that I made, then I will also update it to be more like children friendly as well. But you can have your infants here. And then over here, we have this really big kitchen, which I love because the daycare workers that I have at this daycare, they literally love to make healthy foods for their toddlers, you know, for the kids. And so I really love the way that we have so much space to make this whatever and I think one of the best parts about this is well let me look at the lockers really quick everyone's lockers little pictures of the students or whatever on the walls I'm obsessed with the cubbies in the backpacks I think that's so cute this is no CC by the way so um yeah you don't need any custom content but look at the little tables the outside area just sold me so much we have these little cute picnic tables a beautiful like sand pit area with the swing set we have some what, apple trees yep apple trees here this area for toddlers is so cute they can slide, go in the jungle gym, splash some water here. Children can draw on these little, um, what did this come with? I think little campers kit. Uh, yeah, crafty little card tables. So that's really cute. And then over here, it just looks like complete creative play with all of these items here in the mushroom chairs. We have a bee box. And then over here, we even have some cute little planners. Look at how cute this is. I just love it. We have some water balloons. So this is going to be so fun to watch and play and the growing together let's play and so in the next episode you will see me playing in it for a little bit because the girls got to meet their new friends and their new I say teachers because I don't know if it's a daycare or a preschool but it's giving both so I like look at this it's so cute it is perfect for this world it's so perfect now I'm in my growing together save where I already have um, my daycare kids and teachers here already but before we jump into this video I'd like to give a thank you to our sponsor factor factor is a meal delivery service that sends you fresh ready made meals that are ready to eat in two minutes or less i am someone who literally never knows what to eat especially for breakfast but factors menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals to choose from and enjoy and it's perfect for those busy days you can just grab a smoothie a quick snack or just heat and eat one of those chef quality meals <laughs> if you'd like to try factor please save money and use my link in the description down below or go to go.factor75.com and use 
use my code FACTOR SE36875 for 50% off your first box. But thank you so much, FACTOR, for sponsoring this video, and I hope you all enjoy. So as stated before, I did make this a residential lot. So I just moved the household in. I did film a cast on this, but I just felt like it would be so much more interesting to kind of like break down how I'm placing them in the household and doing it up for the growing together let's play. So this is Julia Berry. She is family oriented. Obviously, she loves children. She's actually quite a child herself. <laughs> she is a child at heart and she's very, very outgoing. So that's one thing about her. She's the head, like the director of the entire daycare that Honey Mae Sims created. Miss Berry has ran that daycare for five years with her assistant, Miss Wendy, who we'll get into in a minute. She's just super warm and inviting. And that's what made my Sim, Barbie, from my Growing Together Let's Play, feel very um, happy and trusted her like right away like you know I know this place is going to take care of my kids straight up <laughs> um, and Julia prides herself on allowing the kids to be very imaginative getting down to their level not teaching them but just exploring with them and helping them be themselves and grow up as independent confident um, creative thinkers so that is her whole mission and I gave her the neighborhood confidant aspiration because I feel like you know maybe she just wants to be that person in the neighborhood that like everyone can confide in confide into and next we have Wendy Boykin who you can call Miss Boykin but she'd rather you just call her like Miss Wendy. She loves to paint. She loves getting the toddlers like, you know, their finger paint. She loves making messes with them. She's okay with it as long as they're having fun crafting. She's a true crafter at heart. She's pretty clumsy though, so she's dropped a couple paint cans here and there, but she's very, very creative. She also loves to read them books, so story time is always lit when Miss Wendy is there. Okay. <laughs> she loves to like make really personalized voices with the characters in the books, and the kids love it. They laugh so much. Um, she has a very interesting style, so she just dresses very, you know, just creative. I guess you could say artistic, like, look at these capris. <laughs> and she just has a really good heart. So here, in her winter outfit, like, I I want her to be that person that wears a Santa hat, like, for no reason. If it's wintertime, I'm putting the Santa hat on. I'm not going to put my regular, like, beanie on. I'm going to wear a Santa hat. And you can't have a daycare without kids. So I created four toddlers so that my toddlers and the Growing Together LP could also have friends, like, actual friends, you know? Like, I really want to make it well thought out. So this is Ezra Mott. He is independent. And one of my Sims toddlers is independent, too, so I feel like they'll get along really really well he is such a cutie pie all of their outfits are pretty much like just made and yes these sims will be on the gallery we have stephanie mcfarland and she's a charmer i randomize all of their traits and to me she's like the sweet girl that everyone loves like it's stephanie you know she's just so happy every single time she comes to daycare she'd rather be at daycare than home kind of thing like not that she has a bad upbringing or a bad family but she just loves her teachers so much and then i have kendall franklin who is wild and i love it because i dress her in this little like snowy escape outfit um she looks like she's ready to go on an adventure right and so in the class I feel like Kendall is the one to just dive headfirst into going you know outside to play any type of experiments or anything like she's the first to jump forward and do adventurous things like she will try and climb the jungle gym even though she's not ready to yet and her legs are too short like she is just adventurous and wild and ready to go and then we have Fletcher Hudson who's actually quite clingy he's very quiet I love this little hoodie on him because I feel like he tries to hide behind it um he is he has the least relationship with like everyone in the daycare because he's kind of like fairly new but he's yeah he's just like a little nervous wreck like he's a little scared kind of quiet and clings to like the teachers and and, um, he's a little reluctant to play with friends, but I feel like, you know, he'll come around. Like, I feel like you always have to have that one kid in the school that just, you know, like, you know, he'll come around. Like, he just needs some time to adjust. And I feel like for my um, other toddler, Sim Jorlin, I feel like they might get along really well because they're both quite reserved. And that is the daycare. They do not have any, like, linked relationships. They are just household members. And I just did it this way because, hey, like, who cares who their parents are? You can always make their parents later, but, you know, especially if the girl's get really close to them but at least my sims will have friends that i made you know and they will be on the gallery a vanilla version of them will be up because i know some of you are on console and you may want them so i'll have a 
um, completely like no CC version of them on the gallery. So the way that I'm going to be using this lot is I'm just going to simply go to the daycare and visit. In the next episode of Growing Together, you are literally going to see this exact scene play out. Like they meet the um, daycare worker. Let me see. See, the girls can't click the door, so they may not be able to go here by themselves without an adult, but I probably might send their um, grandma, great grandmother with them. So let's just have Barbie knock on the door. But I wanted to make it a residential because I wanted them to be able to come here at any time and visit you know uh these two don't have a job so they'll always be home and the toddlers are just toddlers so the idea is just for them to come over here let's go to talk to stranger and barbie can have a really good relationship with um you know the ladies that will be taking care of her girls for the day so i love it and i also think to myself that this daycare is open on saturdays i feel like it's open saturday through sunday you know probably select hours on saturday and sunday most daycares are only open monday through friday but some people have jobs on the weekends and so even if they just want to go out on a date like in my mind i feel like they can go to this daycare when they go in that rabbit hole daycare like this is just my my whole thought process with it here's what i mean by i change this room to have toddler beds because i wanted them to be able to sleep there and then i also added these little um this is cc and this is cc i added these little drawing stations from panda sama because i thought it'd be really cute to have them draw so for instance with with this let me just put this in my inventory if we go here we could um draw let's see we could draw a friend and yeah and let's have Kimmy go meet her. So I think it's really fun. Like they'll actually be able to come here, socialize and just, oh my gosh, it just makes me feel so happy. In fact, let me come over here and do some of this stuff. This is just so cute. And I was going to make more toddlers, but I just thought to myself, like, I don't want it to be too overwhelming and I can always add more. Um, or I could maybe add two children to kind of like, you know, so they can have a relationship with like older kids too. But I thought that this worked out perfectly. Just all the kids being one age and being able to just focus on this little bit like look at how adorable this is i am so excited so i've already filmed the next episode of growing together so please be on the lookout for that i think you all are going to really enjoy that episode because we also find out the gender of the baby i did put a picture of um Wendy and um miss berry here too so i thought that was cute i just feel like it gives major just friendly happy vibes and it makes me so happy look at her telling barbie all about the the little activities that they do here and all of that good stuff barbie's like oh my god that sounds amazing that sounds wonderful i love it tell me more and the reason why i really wanted to do this is because our toddlers do not age up until like right here in the summertime so we have like three weeks to really just milk this <laughs> daycare center and make our friends and really create some long-lasting relationships and then what i'll do is age up their friends when um it's time and then oh she's like she's sitting right in there <laughs> but yeah i'll age up um their friends when it's time and then they'll have long-lasting relationships but i hope you all enjoyed this if you did please do not forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out.